Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to install the load resistor for the collector. Uh, this is a 10,000 ohm 10K resistor. Color code is brown, black, orange. And we're going to solder one end to our uh, voltage distribution bus to uh, <coughs> pick off our 9 volts. And then the other end is going to connect to the collector lead of the NPN transistor stage. And we'll twist that together and put a little bit of solder on it. Okay, that completes building the first stage of our AGC circuit. Okay, it's time to add our second stage of our AGC circuit. I have here another NPN transistor, uh, general purpose uh, 2N3904 uh, variety. And uh, like the previous transistor, uh, the pinout on this with uh, the flat side facing you is emitter base collector. And you may want to verify that uh, your particular type of transistor has uh, the same pinout as well, or if it uh, might be slightly different than the one uh, version that I'm using. Uh, we're going to solder down uh, the tie wraps to hold this uh, second stage in place. We'll do that right now. There's that one. And we'll do the one back on the other side. Now uh, this is also uh, being used as a DC switching transistor so I'm going to be uh, soldering the emitter lead of this transistor directly to ground as we did with uh, the previous stage. And then uh, the next component to go in will be a 47K uh, resistor, 47,000 ohms, and the color code is yellow, violet, orange. And that resistor will connect from the collector of the preceding uh, AGC stage to uh, the base of the second stage that we're installing uh, right now. This uh, couples the DC voltage from uh, the first AGC stage uh, to this uh, second stage. Just uh, put a drop of solder on that because uh, we're going to add some more parts to the base circuit. Uh, we have another 47K resistor, uh, yellow, violet, orange, and this one will go from the base, uh, the base lead to to ground. And we'll put just a little drop of solder on that as well. Okay, so we have two 47K resistors uh, in this base circuit. And 
Uh, the first 47K we installed went from the collector of the previous stage uh, and it goes to the base of the second AGC stage and then at the base connection we're going to have another 47K uh, that goes to ground. Okay, and then we have a, a capacitor. Uh, this is a 33 mic microfarad capacitor and it's going to go from the base lead of our second stage uh, to ground and this uh, this capacitor provides a little bit of a, a delay in the AGC action so that it uh, doesn't rapidly cut in and out uh, which would be a, a little bit annoying. And one end goes to ground, and then the other end will connect to the base lead. almost uh, cut my leads a little bit too short but I got enough to make it work okay that's soldered down good and we have a uh, one more resistor to install I can uh, find it. Uh, this is a, uh, a 10k uh, resistor. Uh, color code is brown, black, orange and that will go from the collector of the uh, second AGC transistor and it will go to the 9 volt uh, VCC bus we'll get that soldered down And we'll put a drop of solder on the junction of the uh, collector and a uh, resistor lead because uh, we're going to have a capacitor that will connect from the collector of the second AGC stage and that electrolytic capacitor will then connect to the emitter of our audio amplifier stage in such way that when this transistor conducts it will put a capacitor across the emitter resistor of the audio amplifier which will increase the, grain, the gain of that stage. So we're going to do that next. Okay the last part that we're going to install to complete our AGC circuit is another uh, 33 microfarad capacitor uh, this is rated at 16 volts uh, well above the, the 9 volt operating voltage and this capacitor is going to connect from the collector of the second AGC transistor that we just installed and the other end of the capacitor will connect to the emitter resistor of the audio amplifier. Uh, the polarity uh, I have the minus going to the emitter of the 
audio output stage and we'll tuck that down here um, and then I have the positive lead of the capacitor connected to the collector of the second AGC stage. Well that completes uh, this portion of uh, this uh, second part. Uh, we have all the components installed that we need and in part three uh, when I return I will show you how this all works and you can hear uh, hear the unit uh, in in full operation. So thank you for watching uh, this episode of Tronics in 10. My name is Brian. I uh, hope you have a good time building your projects on your bench. Until next time, bye-bye.